is, uh, I went through uh, many okay, uh, book editing for uh, visually challenged. Then I also gave my voice for audio books to be uh, you know, published for the blind uh, children so that they can study for their exams. Okay, so what I did is I happened to take one picture of that when I was doing a voice recording myself. A uh, voice recording, I took a picture, and on that picture I had placed in this contest where I need to get most number of likes so that I can get into that uh, particular contest. So what I did is, uh, what was uh, so, so the competition was like this: you have to post those pictures on one of the you know uh, one of the links that we have, and. Uh, the, the person who gets the best and uh, most likes will be the winner and that winner gets about 2 lakh of rupees that can be donated for this particular cause. So uh, as I am a person who is very passionate about giving back to the society, I was very passionate and I wanted to win this, uh, win this contest by hook or crook. I am using that word because I literally you know, went to each and every employee, of, uh, employee who was working. So we have a shift which starts, uh, you know, early in the morning and ends, it's, it's a 24 by 7, uh, basically, uh, basically. So I used to extend my shift, make everybody like my picture, and I was actually in competition with another guy who was, who used to do the same thing, he used to go to every employee, ask them to like the pictures so that they can get the most likes. So yeah, I successfully won the competition. I was the first person to win the competition, and I was able to give 2 lakhs from my prize money to a village in the world. So there was a water treatment plant that was placed there and um, right now there is a, a plant that is it's still running okay and there are people who are going to get uh, there are people who are getting purified water which is free of fluoride. So that is my passion. So everywhere whenever I go I try to find opportunities where I can give back to the society because society has made me uh, you know has placed me in such a position that now I need to give it back. So I, I really would want every one of you to do a, a small bit, a small change in us will definitely make a bigger change in the society. So uh, that is what I wanted to say. Giving back to the society is one of my passions in life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like me. 
So that's going on talking with the people there. I was thinking, why daddy is talking so much with those people, all that's going on. I can't be silent. But I was making a friendship with all these people. Okay, we went, uh, our travel was done, we went to Basra. See, it was a very wonderful place. At that time, it was not so rushed there. We went to the temple. While going, when he was starting with his friends, one of the person here had given a number of a Tamba person. He said, you can contact this person. He will take you to the river nearby and also the temple. Then I found it. Is it, uh, is it necessary that we have to go by Tamla all that stuff? Okay, it's okay. How much water will there is it? When we went, we went to the temple. As we, uh, we can't go any other places to stay, so we went to the Brahmin's place. This place. We went there. In that particular lodge, we stayed. We had a food there. Everything was uh, planned according to my father. We have enjoyed it. Everything like we went by Tanga, we went by walking, we went to the fields, we went with the people, we, uh, we have talking with the, we have spoken with those people, like all the normal villages, everything was wonderful. We went to the river, we have a, had a bath, and there is a bigger rock where you can make a sound, you can hear the, uh, some ornaments are there, it says in that. So we are getting those sounds, all that we have learned. After this, when I got married, then again we went with my family. My family, because uh, then I, uh, the kids, at the same place I went. At that time, I was a lot of responsibility was there, taking care of kids all that. So I was comparing with this, and I felt that each and every vacation has a meaning. So please enjoy those experiences. Please enjoy it because the family experience, family vacation is a great thing for you. So whenever we get that time, please grab it. So whatever is the reason. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So, uh, I'll explain about my passion in business. So, my passion is, uh, right now I am doing in Sisdil business. So, how we are doing this passion and our work. So, I'll explain you briefly. When we receive call from client, we will visit the client place once. So, and first of all, we will take the client's suggestion where he wants to cover and where uh, <coughs> the location, how he wants to cover. We will first we will take the client's client uh, suggestion. Then we will explain him how the camera angle will cover, where to put main gate and the boundary walls and lift area and the garden area and terrace area. The both uh, we will mix and we will decide and uh, we, will, we will execute our plan. So installation one, we will do the installation like that. And uh, my uh, passion is I want to create more employment and I need to open my business in different places also. So I am looking for that. And uh, the last thing is uh, so your security is our responsibility. Thank you. So last minute preparation, but still manage the show. Preparation is much the easier. Sir, you prepared your last week. How beautiful it was. Children's dreams for a holiday. 
and in every holiday kids enjoy and as well we enjoy with them and spending time with them it's a great enjoyment in enjoying with the kids and uh, in in my family in uh, in every summer my co brothers sons daughters used to come to my home to enjoy with their vacations and whenever they come to holidays to me we used to go for outing for a long time and enjoy ourselves and uh, they used to share <coughs> with their friends whatever happened with in my home with my uh, enjoyment like every time they you know they come to me in every summer vacations i i try to make them happy to give enjoyment and i make them happy so in my holiday in my whenever when i was in degree college uh, in, i got us uh, in uh, in the holiday we went to one uh, my friend marriage in it in one uh, in, in the time of uh, we started in the night eight o'clock it was in the winter season and we three people went started on bike in that uh, Eight eight thirty, we started to travel Vikramabad, and uh, we used to we carry jackets and uh, not even carry any food, and we travel and uh, in uh, in the between rain was started, and suddenly so it was actually uh, it's a uh, great uh, happy moments to spend time with uh, going traveling. and spending time with my friends it was very good and good ee ekkam smile yesaru velladu smile yesaru madhyala vendi continue there good good Mountains 
and in between those mountains, deep valley where there is a water, river flowing in between. Them. So that's a very nice scenic uh, adventure you will have. So another suggestion, what I would say is, while you, whenever you plan a trip with your friends, always have a mischievous friend. You know why? <laughs> he will make your trip rememberable. <laughs> I, I have a friend named Srinath, hopefully is not a part of JCI. Honest, you would have <laughs> The thing is, this guy was so mischievous and is very good at you know connecting with people. There was a man uh, named Sheshu. He earns uh, he earns some um, farm. So he gave us somewhere around 10 kgs of lemons. And on the way back to our home, he connected to some uh, man called Giri. He gave us five uh, kgs of So guys, take vacations, go any, go as many places as you can, and enjoy the only life we have. Thank you. Good evening everyone. Can I get a chance to speak now? Yes. Thank you so much. My name is Gaurav Kohar and uh, you know, uh, a vacation, a trip is well planned and well executed. It took us, me and my seven friends, it took almost four months to plan one vacation which was to go to Indo Indonesia, Bali. It was our first international trip of all eight people including me. So we booked four months before flight tickets and then all went. On the day of vacation, like uh, the, we were starting the trip. Imagine today night I have a flight to catch. Today morning, six o'clock, I get a mail from the travel agent that your flight, your, your stay has been cancelled. So this trip, first thing only my trip has been cancelled. But, but we have the flight tickets, we have other booking there. We got some other place to stay. We next day morning we landed at eight o'clock. Again we got to know the payment what we did to that second uh, hotel that also got cancelled in between. We were on the road to Bali for three hours in search of a hotel. Somehow we got it. The one day was spent on the road and searching of the hotel. Uh, the remaining days went so beautifully, you won't believe the nature of Bali, the people of Bali were so pleasant and so good. We didn't see police people uh, holding guns there. We saw policemen uh, holding knives or I would say talwar. They were very good, there were no traffic lights, very good. Uh, we went on, we went to Nusa Penda Island, it was wonderful. We did underwater sea water, we went, we did uh, whitewater river rafting, we did underwater walking, a lot of many things we did. We we um, ate so many good, uh, different different cuisines there. But at the end, I would say, there was like uh, so much of planning also we do, but the enjoyment what we had, the friends, was an amazing eight days and we still remember because it's been four years, before four years we went on a trip, whenever we all meet, we still cherish at least one moment of that um, I would say it's of that uh, trip, what we did. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>